Look guys, if there's one thing and one thing only that I want to say um, after that previous video, it's um, big trust. But if there's a second thing I want to say, it's uh, welcome back to another video and welcome back to a 49ers video. It's been, it's been a while, in fact, I don't think we've seen a 49ers player for at least 20 spots. I might be wrong, I might not be. I will say that I've been waiting for an opportunity to bring out my Jared Hayne, my classic Jared Hayne from 2015. Uh, 49ers jersey and the fact is is that I never really knew how to wear them properly but now I do now I do look at this shit whether you've got a grey hoodie or a black hoodie or you could probably even get away with a white hoodie underneath these jerseys look absolutely sick on top of a hoodie I'm not gonna lie and for the very first time I'm gonna actually test out what putting my hood up actually look nah fuck that what I will say is that this was my very first NFL jersey purchase, in fact my only purchase because every single other NFL jersey that I've ever received I've actually got from you guys. And I want to say what absolute fucking legends. Big trust. Anyways guys, let's get into this. Jimmy Garoppolo, you know, from, from, from what I know, he was at the Patriots as a backup to Tom Brady. He got traded to the 49ers. He struggled with injury, I'm led to believe, but I couldn't be sure. He's six foot four. He's 100 kg, sizable. He's got a bit of speed, he's got some good looks. And let's see just how well he did in 2019. Lucky dude, you know what I mean? You know how the ladies love him. Man, if you meet Jimmy, man, he got everything going for him. He's a good looking dude. <laughs> these guys, <laughs> I'm not surprised that, look, I'm not surprised that J Chad Johnson is talking about a guy being good looking because he's the fucking man. And he can. And he's, he's extremely comfortable with anything that comes out of his mouth. And that's why I like him. Isn't that funny? I, I, we, we've, we're obviously on the same wavelength there thinking that Jimmy G's good looking. You know what I mean? You know how the ladies love him, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's go, man! Yeah! It's easy to see the appeal. Jimmy Garoppolo is handsome, a smile fit for a toothpaste ad, and a jawline for days. But won't you look at that chin line, eh? Hey, it's beautiful, eh? Hey? You see Jimmy G's chin line? <laughs> that is pretty. Bro, yours isn't bad, Tom. That is one of a... Tom? Did I just say Tom? I meant George. Hi, what a man he is, huh? But Jimmy GQ is more than just a pretty face. Jimmy GQ. In Garoppolo's first full season as a starter since coming back from a torn ACL, the 49ers won their division with a 13 and 3 record. He's been so clutch. Oh, they got season. to the Super Bowl, didn't they? He hasn't backed down from any challenge. He doesn't allow uh, pass rushers to get to him. Bro, there's something about Boo. <laughs> Look. If Buddha Baker, honestly, I, I would have seen that guy there and not known who the fuck he was, but I would have laughed because his eyes do look, they do look a little bit stoned. He's probably not, but, but in fact, there are, there are actually a couple of guys on this list um, that have been giving their little interviews on these players, and I'm thinking, how many bongs did you smoke before sitting down, mate? There's Garoppolo back on third down to 11. Throws over the middle, and it's caught! Holy cow, and Jimmy Garoppolo throws that in front of three or four defenders. You got Patrick Peterson underneath, you got safety. What I was going to say is that if Buda Baker had not been chased down by DK Metcalf as spectacularly as he was, I would not have a clue who he was. So really, it was probably good for him, in a funny kind of way. He's over the top, and Garoppolo with guys right in his face for a big first down. That's an incredible throw with that run. <clears throat> you know, I feel like he was catching flack early in the season because not a lot was being asked of him. Our run game was so this is so their fullback. Their defense was so good, but we've really had to rely on Jimmy to step up and make plays, and he just continues to do it. They give it a use check. We're gonna flip it on a reverse. That's their fullback. Use check. Debo gets a block off of Rothalo. Oh, what? First, coming back to Debo gets a block off of Rothalo. Jim Garoppolo. Is that against Harrison Smith? No, it's not. It's against Anthony Barr. Pancake. Hurry up. Barr. No joke. I put him on his ass. I love you. I love adversity. I think he's got a lot of underrated traits, to be honest with you. He's very efficient. He gets the ball out quick. I just don't think he gets credit for the arm talent that he has. I think he's got one of, if not the quickest releases in the NFL. The 28-year-old is the only quarterback in the top five in all of these three categories. 28. 
It's only a baby, no wonder the ladies love him. Incompletion percentage. I wonder if he's married. Does such a good job of putting the ball in a place for receivers to make plays. Garoppolo throws end zone. It is caught. Strike from Jimmy Garoppolo to just carve that right in between two defenders. I cannot tell you how good that throw was. Great job, fellas. Keep it up. We have so much run after catch. I think a lot of that has to do with Jimmy. Jefferson Jr.'s in. He runs inside. He's got a ten. Five. Wow. They sent the whole. I like that run. Who is that number 30? He looks rapid. Who is that? Wilson Jr. Where is he? There he is. Running back. Flag. What do you call that? A Texas route or a flag route? Look at that. Look at that catch behind his shoulder in the air. Had to turn. But I tell you what, the speed I saw after he caught that ball was was impressive. Look at this. Go son! Ooh, that was, yeah, I, I've got to look that up. And whenever I see the name Jeff Wilson, I always get brought back to uh, the good old days of Otago Rugby, when Jeff Goldie Wilson played. He was my favorite player, played on the wing. In fact, in 1995, you'll find the back three of the, the mighty New Zealand All Backs were, were the best back three and the most influential back three of all time. That was Jonah Lomu, Christian Cullen, and Jeff Goldie Wilson. Now, how fast is this guy? Because that speed was intense. It's probably not going to have his stats here. I've got no idea why. Jeffrey Jeff Wilson Jr. There he is, six foot, 213 pounds from North Texas. I want a 40 yard dash, but I'm not going to get it. All right, let's continue. Jimmy finds a man, what a throw. He just made play after play. Kevin Byron was the same as safe. Whoops. Um, okay. Right. That was Jimmy G. I enjoyed wearing the 49ers colors. Any 49ers fans out there, I hope you enjoyed. But, but I guess I do need to find out what's happened this season. I hope he's playing. He's got two Super Bowls. What an absolute legend. What an absolute legend. So he got he got a left a left knee injury, tore his ACL in 2018, came back in 2019, made the Super Bowl against the Kansas City Chiefs, where Garoppolo threw 31 passes, completing 20 of them for 219 yards, one touchdown and two interceptions during the 31-20 loss. His team was up by 10 points with seven minutes remaining in the game, but the Chiefs scored 21 points in five minutes to win the game. Now I watched that but I can't exactly remember it. That's the trouble sometimes. Okay, I don't like seeing this, but in week number eight, Garoppolo completed 11 of 16 passes for only 84 yards and an interception before injuring his ankle and leaving in the fourth quarter, being replaced by Nick Mullins. The next day it was announced that Garoppolo will be out indefinitely due to him re-aggravating his high ankle sprain. On November 5th, 2020, which was a mere six weeks ago, Garoppolo was placed on injured reserve. And it looks as if he's, he's played six games this year, and uh, it'll only be six, which is unfortunate. Okay, let's move on. We've got another running back. That's two running backs and three videos. That is not a bad strike rate whatsoever. It's Alvin Kamara. He's number 42 on the list. He plays running back for the New Orleans Saints. And it's all in the detail, I'm led to believe. That's right, isn't it? What is it, Big Truss? We're all in the detail, man. The detail. All right, guys. That's enough. I'll see you in the next video. I want to say cheers. I want to say Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.